The fifth graders do a section on dinosaurs. Dinosaur Valley State Park is located just outside of Glenrose, and so it's a perfect place to, to add to the academic side of what we're teaching at school that they can actually see out in the field. You know, one of the unique things that we do as far as these areas is we always pick specific areas that we feel that the student is able to get challenged, is able to grow. Uh, Glen Rose is a great, great location that we have. We take the, what they've learned in the classroom, they experience it, then they go back and they're able to evaluate and conclude their experiences and able to share that with, with their peers and their teachers. And then all in all, it's an experience, it's that kind of that schema. They're building that, that prior knowledge that now they have to use when they're, when they're, when they're learning, when, when they're developing their writing skills. They're using those so when they're reading or they're comprehending, they have that already. And we'll head to Dinosaur Valley State Park and that's kind of the culmination of our trip. That's the main reason we came to Glen Rose. Uh, was to see the, the dinosaur tracks uh, down in the Paluxy River, which is part of the, the Dinosaur Valley State Park. They have ranger-led talks, and so once we get there, the rangers will kind of take over and explain the history uh, and all about the, the dinosaurs that roamed Texas at, you know, years and years ago. That's the goal here, is to make sure that they're taking all, everything that they've learned, they're learning a lot by the book, but this is more of life lessons, and I think that makes an experience and those adventures and those challenges take that child to the next level. We spent the day doing uh, various uh, kind of challenging activities. So we did the zip line, uh, we did the climbing wall and the jungle gym as well as archery tag. This was a time for them to kind of challenge themselves. Um, I had one, one student come up to me this afternoon and said, hey, I was really scared to do that zip line. Uh, I was really worried about it, but I went ahead and did it anyway and I loved it. You know, so um, one of the things I love about the activities they have is they challenge the student um, and they may have some fears that they're overcoming out here and so we're, we're encouraging them to not let those fears limit you know their abilities to go out and do things and I think it's a great stepping stone to life. Right, we've seen some kids that have said they're scared to do things and just by a small conversation or their own peers saying hey give it a shot they're doing it. Well, we're heading to Fossil Rim which is an exotic wildlife park uh, give the students a chance to see some wildlife that you don't see here in Texas. Uh, zebras, giraffes, uh, different types of ostriches, things like that that they get to see. Um, they get a chance to feed the animals, uh, so it kind of, and it's a close up, it's a driving tour, so the students are in vehicles, um, but yet they get a close up look at different aspects of wildlife throughout the world. You got adventure, you got experience, and you got a challenge. And I think that is one thing that you know, to take a child out of the classroom and to accomplish that in an environment like we are here today, I think you see a different child. And it's interesting how we have a classroom child where they're developing their minds, and that's what we're, we're, we're trained to do. But this gives us a different perspective as far as, you know, the, the, some of the challenges. I just want to emphasize uh, how important it is for our children to, to be comfortable themselves, uh, get to know themselves, and grow. Uh, that is part of what Explore 360 is about, is giving our children a chance to enrich themselves by experiences outdoors. Um, again, it's a, a, it's a very comfortable overnight trip that we still have the comforts of home, so it's not such an extreme for them. Uh, it gets them uh, some team building with their classmates, uh, some camaraderie, uh, but as well as working as a team, they also have some individual challenges that they get to uh, try to overcome as well.